The state Liberals have decided to oppose uranium mining in the Akarula Wilderness Sanctuary in the Flinders Ranges. But the opposition won't support a Greens proposal to outlaw it. The government is expected to decide on the future of an exploration licence covering the sanctuary next month. In the new federal paradigm, they couldn't be further apart. But as state parliament resumed, the Greens and the Liberals found some common ground. We uh, have some agreement on the level of protection we want. It, they might not be uh, offering all of the, what the Greens want, but I'm happy to work with them. After much internal debate, the Liberals have fallen in line behind party power broker Nick Minchin, who opposes uranium mining at the Arkarula Wilderness Sanctuary. But that newly agreed position won't stretch to supporting a Greens amendment to ban it. Look, the State Liberal Party has decided very clearly that it will reject any move by the state government to change the environmental status of Arkarula. In 2007, mining exploration company Marathon Resources was caught illegally dumping waste in the 610 square kilometre sanctuary. Its exploration licence is up for renewal next month and the government has not made it clear whether it will allow Marathon to take the next step. I can announce today that the Minister for Mineral Resources will soon be making a determination. While it didn't show during question time, Labor found its own common ground with the Liberals, singing from the same press release with agreement to boost superannuation payments for recently elected MPs. The rise from 9% to 15% will bring them in line with their more experienced colleagues. But both Greens MPs, who will benefit from the rise, oppose it. It's remarkable that the government is talking about increasing superannuation contributions to members of parliament in the very week of what we know will be savage cuts to the public service. Expect the public service unions to make that argument when the budget is delivered on Thursday. Nick Harmson, ABC News, Adelaide.